what was ruined because too many people started doing it. Airbnb. Once upon a time, that was my go-to website whenever I traveled. Now, with all the added fees and experience-oriented stays, hotels are much cheaper. Plus, it's bad for the local housing market. It's still quite affordable in certain countries in Latin America, but I can never see myself using it in the US or Europe again. FR. At least with hotels you know how much you will be paying. Airbnb's like food delivery, where the price shown will double by the time you check out. Thrifting. This one. Big time. Checked out a local store I thrifted at a lot my first year of university and first year living alone. That store saved me so much money and grief in 2013. But there's no way I could have afforded the current prices. Exactly. After a while when everyone is doing it, it's not a bargain anymore. It's just a store. Disneyland. I remember going during the week when I was a kid and it was empty. Now, the slow days are still extremely busy and they nickel and dime you for everything. Almost like they're a soulless corporation driven solely by profit. Home flippers. They pay cash for every mediocre or slightly out of date house on the market. Many times their work is hot garbage and they try to hide any defect the house has, but try their best not to fix it. Then they up the price, so first time home buyers can't afford them. I recently was going through the house hunting process and you can always tell when a house is a flipped house. The kitchens and the bathrooms will all look nice in photos, but when you look closer you can tell it just was not done well. And there are always some structural issues in the basement that the flippers either tried to brush over or just outright ignored. Buying houses as investment properties. I moved to a new city to take a great new job. I bought a used travel trailer to live in while we got settled into my job and looked for a house. That was two years ago. I just want a home, but every time I attend a showing or make an offer I'm outnumbered by investors who are basically the real estate version of the seagulls from Finding Nemo. Mine. 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 Ebb. When it first started it was very affordable. Now it can be more expensive than hotels. Honestly the problem is people expected to use Ebb to replace hotels. It's never been for that. The fact that it was briefly cheaper than hotels was just a quirk of it becoming popular. It simply doesn't have the economies of scale to make renting an Airbnb for 2 to 3 nights competitive with a single hotel room. Where it really shines is in 5 day plus trips with multiple couples, where you would have to rent multiple hotel rooms. A 1 week stay near the beach in a 3 bedroom with 3 couples is largely priced competitively vs renting 3 hotel rooms. Plus you get the benefit of staying at the house. The constant complaining I see on reddit because Airbnb is no longer cheaper than a single hotel room for 2 nights blows my mind. It was never supposed to be. The fact that it was temporarily was a quirk. It's like complaining that a rental car is more expensive than a single cab ride. Content creators. I say this because now anyone with a working phone thinks they will become famous with their remade posts of others original posts. F stop. You've ruined so many songs, comic skits, movies and so on. Yeah I hate bloodsuckers that make videos of other people's videos. Or make reaction videos to something the original creators put a lot of work into. The worst are reaction videos where the person just nods and points to the original video side. The sheer laziness is infuriating. Asking for upgrades on flights. Man oh man TikTok and COVID messed this one up. I've only been upgraded once, and it's because I mentioned, in passing to the ticket person, that we were on our honeymoon, and they randomly did it themselves. Wasn't expecting it. I've never gotten an upgrade, but I got downgraded once, flight was pretty full, and they asked if a solo didn't mind moving seats. I didn't care so offered. They put me up in first class, I was sitting there waiting for to key off when some person came up, and said I was in their seat. And the flight messed up and made me sit all the way in the back. Dead last row. I was so pissed. Thrifting. I grew up at second hand stores BC my fam was dirt poor. Posting videos on this shit show with the fucking oh no song. Oh no oh no oh no oh no oh no 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 kill me. As of tomorrow and for the next couple weeks. Going to the gym. 
you should be thankful, because those other memberships, that helps gyms keep their prices low for the rest of us haha. <laughs> yep, exactly this. The gym stay afloat almost entirely based on people, who don't show up. I've heard Machu Picchu has become like Disneyland with a new group heading up every 15 minutes. I can't confirm, but it was very disappointing to hear. I've done the trail to there. 4 days hiking. They restricted the numbers per day and you are first on site, and get to see it virtually empty. So glad we didn't take the train and bus route. Walking out at the bottom, was a culture shock. But we got to see the real Inca world. I hope. Eating flank steak. That s used to be cheap. And oxtail. Brisket for sure. R slash bosom and town is nearly impossible to live in, if you make below 100k. And 100k is scraping by. The working class is disappearing. And the food now is a disappointment. Everyone is awful. It's not my hometown anymore. No shit. It was already bad in like 2015. But then the lid blew fully off once covered hit and everyone started to flee the big cities. I lived downtown back in 2001. Paid $400 mo for a crappy 2 Brit apt above the cannery. Can't even imagine what that place is going for now. The internet is a medium for communication and education. These days. Every 14 year old with an iPhone is trying to become an influencer. Instead of thinkers. Good communicators and authentic weirdos. The internet is now full of people vying for attention from lonely nobaders. Slash Jatoff Milon. You still have all the good stuff too. You just have to dig through a layer of grime to get to it. Hiking. Pre-Instagram I would go hiking in some pretty awesome spots and be virtually alone except for a few other hardcore hikers like myself. Now there are hundreds of influencers and idiots playing backpack speaker music while taking pictures with selfie sticks. Ugh. The internet. R.I.P. Stumbloopin. Damn. That website brings memories. My wife. Yeah. My ex-wife got involved in the same trend. The misspelling of two. Edit. 8.36am1 slash 1 slash 2023 those are a lot of likes. I'm a new man for 2023. I to think that's a bad thing. Peeing in pools. I rate this number one. Reddit. This question. Literally saw the exact same one on this sub like last week. Wait why the f is this posted in Askman and not a scredit WTF. Because men are real people unlike women on reddit obs. Vlogs. Before they were informative. Now it's about doing Costco runs. Sharing tiny things about your private life and lame things like that. The problem is, that so many children watch vlogs of other slightly older children. Edit, and why is that a problem lol. Van life. I doubt this would have taken off as a trend, if we weren't in a housing crisis. Just wait till it stops, being trendy and starts being essential to get by. I lived in a van, when I went to grad school in Boulder. Co. Very high cost of living location, because I couldn't afford to have a car and pay rent. Any food that received the foodie treatment. Burgers. Cupcakes. Donuts. Etc. Food has always ruined everything they touched. It wasn't too many. Even their foodie is too many. Social media. Posting the location of outdoor hikes slash landmarks. By doing it, you saturate beautiful places with absolute d-bags who give zero shits about taking care of the environment, or throwing the concept of leaving no trace to the wind. I remember having to make it with the ink crowd on a local hiking forum to be able to get a scan of a marked up topo map of a place I wanted to go, because I read about it in a book. It was some old forgotten trail that used to be a logging road to a former logging campsite or something like that. Miles and miles back in the woods. Before you even got to the turn off to the bushwicking part. I'm sure that hike is on our trails now. Real cocaine. Yep most coke around is half speed. 45% benzocaine and maybe 5% coke lol. Always chasing the dragon. Don't forget those pesky amphetamines. Damn. This thread makes you very depressed. And every answer is so goddamn right. Two. The world is in such a slump right now, and things won't improve. One thing is clear though, killing off social media would benefit the whole world. 
the Industrial Revolution and its consequences. Shoe collecting, or collecting hobbies really, became the new hustle for everyone who doesn't actually care about these things, used to do old school consoles, so northeast slash SNES stuff, it was cool to find stuff and get a good deal, but now everyone thinks their stuff is worth millions, because some dope on Yatub pretends his SNES Super Mario World cartridge that doesn't even have a box is worth 10k. As a video game enthusiast with a special interest in the preservation of our history, it appalls me to see the state of retro video games thanks to the big pump and dump.